Hi there YouTube, John and Gareth here and we're bringing you the battery test you asked for. We've got six phones. Gareth, give us the rundown. So this is a Real Racing 3 downloaded on the Apple iPhone 6S Plus, the LG G5, the OnePlus 3, the HTC 10, the Nexus 6P and the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. Very simple, we started Real Racing 3, we drove the cars into the side of the track and left them going until they died. Simple as that, let's see how they got on. So the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge has got the biggest battery with 3,600 milliamp hours. It's also got a 5.5 inch QHD display, nice and big and bright, it's AMOLED too, hopefully a little bit of power saving there. Exactly, next up we've got the Nexus 6P, another phablet, another QHD screen and that's got 3,450 milliamp hours. Again, oh. a 5.7 inch display and a QHD display. Yep, and it's an all metal body which may have a bearing on the actual test itself. Next up we've got the 3000 twins, the HTC 10 and the OnePlus 3, both with 3000 milliamp hour batteries. The HTC 10 has a 5.2 inch QHD display, while the OnePlus 3 has a larger 5.5 inch display, but a lower resolution, which is just full HD. Um, so it'll be interesting to see, it's AMOLED as well, so mm. you're hoping that there's going to be a decent performance from the OnePlus Will that make a difference, AMOLED technology? It should do, it should be more power efficient, so you're hoping the OnePlus and the Samsung will be able to use that to their advantage. And so the other two that we're really perhaps more worried about are the LG G5, which has got a 2,800 milliamp hour battery, and the Apple iPhone 6S Plus, which is a surprisingly small 2,750 mm. milliamp hour. iPhones always have surprisingly small batteries. Okay, let's get into the test itself. We're now two hours in and way out in front is the Samsung way with 74%. I think it's going to blitz this test if the uh, first early indications are anything to go by. The next four, it's all sort of even Stevens level pegging, as some people may say. <laughs> uh, and then sort of lagging behind a little bit though. Surprisingly, the OnePlus 3 has already dropped quite a lot. So in, in within one hour, it's gone down to 43% from 74%. That's, yeah, that's a massive drop in a, one hour. That is worrying. Oh dear, the OnePlus 3 is really starting to struggle, John. Yeah. I mean, 15%, what's that about? Why, why is a phone that's got roughly the same spec and theoretically more an advantage with a 1080p screen doing so bad in this test? Well, the OnePlus uh, has a much finer margin. It doesn't have to research development budgets with the likes of HTC, LG, Samsung, Apple, etc. So the optimizations behind the scenes done by the bigger manufacturers just won't be in play here. While they may be using similar components, it's not just simply sticking the components in, there's various optimizations on the chipboard, the software integration and everything, there's lots to go into this, so it may be a sign of the cutting corners on the OnePlus. But the Samsung obviously is still miles out in front, I think, you know, given it's got its own Exynos processor, it's got its own optimizations, own screen, pretty much Samsung knows everything that's working there, and it's clearly done something really good there. The Nexus 6P, that makes sense, a lot of sense in second yep. place, big battery, Huawei knows exactly what it's doing when it's tuning phones. And I'm surprised with HTC doing so well because historically that brand has really struggled with its devices. They are doing well. Jump ahead another hour and unfortunately, Gav, I've got some bad news. There oh, have no. been two fatalities. Oh, no. I know. I mean, just a moment's pause and silence for those. The LG G5 and the OnePlus 3. We hardly knew you. So, looking at the other phones though, Samsung S7 Edge still well out in front, but LG G5, OnePlus 3, are you surprised? Uh, well, OnePlus 3 no, given how it's performed. LG yes, because at three and a half hours it had 15% left and suddenly it was right down off the cliff. So that was pretty bad to see from that. Um, but we did have a little bit of a problem here with the iPhone 6S mm, Plus. Naughty our lovely, our, well, more naughty video guy who accidentally forgot to, when it went into low power mode, didn't realise that it got into standby. So accidentally, for 12 minutes, was sitting there in standby. Big 12. So we put the game back on again, so whatever the result is, it's minus 12 minutes. So there you have it, that is our test. That was quite the experience, I'm sure. Gareth, your thoughts? Well, I mean, the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge was the clear winner, as we expected at the start. But below that, I mean, the OnePlus 3, that was surely the biggest surprise of the lot. Um, yes and no. Uh, you know, it, I would have liked to if it had done a little bit better, but I'm not surprised it came sixth. Uh, it didn't perform in my review quite as well as the Samsung, the HTC or the LG, those are always going to have the stronger batteries. So while it does have a lower resolution display, uh, I think OnePlus is sort of lacking the efficiencies in the background, but yeah. it's still not an awful bit more performance. And the other two confusing ones were the iPhone 6S Plus, which I know has the smallest battery, but it also has Apple's optimizations. It also has, uh, you know, the fact that it's got the lowest res screen on test as well. And the LG G5, I thought that would have done a lot better than it actually did. So, I mean, it's surprising to see those in fifth and fourth, really. 
Indeed, but well done to Samsung, yep. well done to the S7 Edge, the winner this time around. Uh, do you like this test? Do you want to see more tests? What sort of tests do you want to see? Let us know in the comments below. And which phones you want to see in those tests as well is of also course. really important. We'll take a look through, we'll pick out the best ones and bring those videos to you. Don't forget to like and subscribe, all that sort of stuff. And we'll see you again soon for some more awesome smartphone videos.